Hello and welcome to another Toy Box audio video demonstration. Uh, today we'll look at the macro presets block, which doesn't conventionally make any noise, but is used to control other parameters from other blocks. So let's make a two oscillator subtractive synthesizer. It's pretty simple. So we get a couple of oscillators here. Attach the pitch to both of them and the gates to reset the phase of the oscillators. Let's get a little mix tool here. Dump everything into and feed it out into an envelope and let's not forget to connect the gate to the note in as I frequently do. Okay, so this is going to be loud. Let's hit a note. It's a simple lovely sign. So, let us make sure the filter's on. So we are going to use the low pass gate feature of the envelope. As you can hear, it has a filter which follows the amplitude path, which just gives a different, different characteristic to the sound. So here we have our basic synth. So let's start connecting things up. I will remove the cables for the moment. Okay, so let's connect A up to the modulation in oscillator 1 to the oscillator shape. Let's bring it back to the beginning as these modulation controls are not bipolar, they are unipolar, so they only go out one side, so we can only go up or down, we can't do both ways. So, seems to be working. Let's reduce the release a little bit. Just touch down on that sustain. And let's attach modulation macro preset controller B to the warp. I like a good warp. Let's pick a nice. Uh, I tend to like the sync. Jolly good. Okay, let's up that. Let's make sure these are working. Oop, what have I done there? Done a baby. Let's remove that and attach the B modulation control here to this control here. So we've got A going to the warp control and B is going to the shape. So let's just quickly name these. Oscillator 1 Warp and Oscillator 1 Shape. Okay, all good. Let's do the same for Oscillator 2. So attach C to A and D to B. Select the modulation A amounts here. Let's up that to the maximum and B and up that to the maximum. Just check. Let's make sure they're working. Oh yeah. And jolly good. Okay, let's name these quickly. Oscillator 2. Warp. And Oscillator 2. Shape. There we go, so... Okay, now that's great. Let it be great if we could change that 
from the macro preset controller. So that's what we'll do. We will add a transpose. Just prior to the mini or selected. Let's name these actually. Let's name them one. And I name that one too. So we can follow the transpose cable into the pitch there. And we will use H. In fact, G to modulate the pitch. So let's shift it down because we only have a unipolar signal to modulate with i'm going to drop the transpose down two octaves up that to maximum and find two octaves above using the shift to find control I think I have it there so in the middle that should be back to the middle note whichever note you play on the keyboard okay so let's just cool right and now we will attach modulation controller E to the envelope and modulate the attack for a bit of joy a bit further that's it okay so let's just name the this envelope filter envelope attack and let's name this one filter envelope release because we will attach that which would be a b c d e f to modulation controller b and we can control both the decay and the release from the one knob nice okay oh a lovely jubbly okay so let's try and make well we've got a preset here So let's flick to preset number two. And that's the default sound. So if, let's change the name of G to transpose. Oh, so O2. Sensibly named O2P. Everyone knows what that means. It's obvious. GP. Ah, finally, I'm going to attach the H out to the mixer such that we can balance between the two signals. So what we'll do is I'm going to invert the control on one and have a normal control on the other. In order to do that, I minim minimise that, <coughs> turn uh, volume one down to minimum, turn volume two up, excuse me, <coughs> to maximum and we'll just do this and if we we can hear okay so that's basically a, a balance just call it bowel for clarity there we go 
So we've got our eight parameters named here now. That's a nice one. Let's flick to number three. Make another noise. Oh, the sub. If we turn the velocity on, on the envelope, low pass gate function here, we have a kind of, well, the filter becomes velocity sensitive, it's quite nice. We can adjust the kind of range. With this knob at the back, but I'm going to leave it at the middle for joy. Okay, so we've got another preset there. Let's, that's a good one, isn't it? Let's, ooh. Let's have another one. Squirty. That's oh, okay, so have a, make another one. Isn't this fun? So there we go, we've got five presets in the macro preset with a basic two oscillator subtractive synthesis sizer, synthesis sizer here. So if we can just flick through these, we step through our presets. Mm. But an additional feature here is if we click the morph button, on the sliders morph between the settings even though you can't see them the values being sent out of the control table here are morphed so you can hear all the parameters change the shapes you can see the knobs you can see the control values change in the actual synth itself thanks to the control values being sent out by the macro preset controller isn't it great okay there you go that's just a little overview of the macro preset controller and how you can use it to score store presets um, in your environment i have in the past you can couple these together so we have another if you need to handle more f parameters from a single macro preset what you can do is just feed this preset out here to this the pressed out to the preset in here that will be fixed in future and uh, as you can see the if i switch to three up here this becomes the active so they're basically tracking each other so what i've done in the past is say i might use macro preset controller one to manage wave definitions start points pitch and that kind of thing and the macro preset two controller I might use to control envelopes and lfo speeds and kind of modulation sources that kind of thing okay well i hope and that's given you i hope and that's given you a good idea of what you can do with the macro preset controller i hope you have fun with it take care <laughs>